Good evening everyone. My name is Pauline Cummins and I welcome you as you join me in this evening's Easter evening service. Whether you're online, um, at home, uh, thank you so much for joining me. So as we begin our service, we still ourselves before God as we read Psalms and scripture and have a time of prayer. Let us be still before God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect your glory and our lips repeat the endless song, Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O Lord, so may your mercy come down upon us and cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our psalm reading this evening is taken from Psalm number 30, verses 1 to 5. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. I will extol you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Lord, you hide your face when we trust in ourselves. Strip us of false security and we clothe us in your praise, that we may know you as the one who raises us from death, as you raised your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Canticle God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God in faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You were ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. 
Our reading this evening is taken from Mark chapter 5, chapter 15, verses 46 to chapter 16, verse 8. Then Joseph brought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Josie saw where the body was laid. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll the stone away for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone that was very large had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have a time of this is a time when we can sit quietly and we can think of those people in our lives who need our prayer right now. Uh, those, fam those family members, those friends, those neighbours that you know of that really need your prayer. We also pray for our country at this time as we are going through what's called a very difficult time. A time for those who are suffering from um, I with the isolation, not being able to go out, not being able to meet with friends and family. We also think of those who are ill in hospital and the family members who are just not able to go and visit them and that separation and the anxiety that that causes. We also pray for our government and those who to make decisions and that Lord that we pray that God is with them at this time and we pray for our nurses and our doctors and all those people who are in the emergency services those people who are available 24 hours a day who are working around the clock uh, for our benefit and the benefit of all those people who really need help and we also spend a time to pray for ourselves as we are all in it together uh, and we just really want to be with God and know the presence of God is with us. So we just have a, a time of silence and a time when we can just think of all those things and place them firmly and rightly in God's hands. Our special prayer for today. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to raise again and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth 
for the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. May the risen Christ grant us joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the end of our evening service. May God bless you 